Well, hello, Aquarius. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your monthly intuitive tarot card reading for June 2024. Now, before we get started, just a reminder here, Aquarius, these are general readings. Take what resonates, that's what you're meant to hear, and leave the rest behind. So for now, we're just going to jump into your reading. All right, each row here represents each week in June. We're going to take a look at your tarot cards first and then go back to each week for more clarification and messages. But first, we are going to take a look at what is being suggested for you for a crystal for this month. So what's coming through for Aquarius for June? Which crystal for June? What does Aquarius need? Selenite. This... Um, very calming crystal, um, and it is your crown chakra. So connecting to spirit, source, prayers, meditation. All right, let's take a look at your tarot cards. First week, you've got the five of cups. There might be something that is over and done with. It served its purpose, um, but you're sad to see it go. We'll get more into that. Second week. Okay, you've got uh, Major Arcana card strength. So uh, this might be something that was very important to you because you're still feeling, um, you're still feeling it in the second week. You're going to have to um, dig deep, possibly, to be able to move on. Third week. Oh, this will probably change up the energy. This is the Page of Cups. And there is some kind of unexpected news or message or something that's popping up right in front of you that's going to help you out. And the last week, Aquarius, you've got the Six of Pentacles. So you're going to be able to help others. This might be in regards to, um, you know, uh, possibly what you used to be doing. Something has, has um, something's got you very disappointed that it's over and done with. So let's, let's get into the weeks here. So first week with the Five of Cups, this is how you're feeling as you enter into June. So um, it could just simply be the holiday weekend. And all of a sudden it's June 1st and you have to go back to work and um, you had a great time. It's, it's just something that... Um, is over and done with. It certainly could be your vacation. Maybe you had a um, holiday weekend because of because of um, you know this past holiday, and of course going back to work. So uh, it could be in regards to a relationship. This is how you're feeling as you're going into the month. Something is over and done with. Something has come to an end. Something has served its. Uh, purpose and you really it's time to let go you've got more opportunities you have two cups here you've got more opportunities things uh so five is kind of a difficult difficult um energy here numerology wise it's very challenging because um something will never be the same is what my guides are are telling me so you need to move on because there's new and exciting options and opportunities ahead and all you got to do, um, you see the river flowing here. All you got to do is see where the river flows towards the bridge and you're on to new and exciting adventures. So let's look at your tea leaf card. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Now, if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this same card came out for Libra. So there are over 400 cards in this deck and I shuffle them immensely. And here this came out right from the get-go. So yeah, Aquarius, I wouldn't stress too much about what this is that's ending because there's these new options is um, something coming in. Money, property, inheritance, winning, some kind of windfall, a new job, maybe a new relationship even. But this is primarily something in the material world uh, relating to um, money. Uh, property. So something quite unexpected. And um, I am picking up, it makes sense now, um, somebody might have left your life and that's why there's inheritance coming in. Let's clarify. 
Oh, yeah. Moving away from um, a situation. Moving away from feeling this way. This is now moving on to better things. And that's certainly this energy coming in is going to help you do that. You have the six energy here, so that is definitely then you're going to be moving in the right direction, taking advantage of what these two cups represent. Um, this is not going to be long lasting, how you're feeling here. And that is why your guides are suggesting the Selenite crystal to be tapped into your crown chakra to get that love and guidance and, you know, tapping into um, spirit source, keeping yourself grounded, centered and balanced, keeping things um very peaceful and calm and because this is the route that you're going to be going. You're going to be moving um, in a new direction. Yeah, leaving whatever that is behind because it's not going to ever come back. Second week here, major arcana card strength. Major arcana cards are some kind of life event, a turning point, um, some kind of change. That either is thrust upon you or you are making the change. I like the eight energy here though. And also um, above the angel here, the Lemnus Gate. One of my favorite symbols because it's like never ending. There is always infinite possibilities. And so here this is showing that anything is possible as um, this individual, this angel, I feel it's more an angel, is taming the beast. So it's about patience. It's about, um, you know, diving deep into your inner strength. Um, that's why, again, I feel you are suggested to have the selenite crystal to keep yourself very calm and centered and balanced during what uh, might be a very, um, uh, I'm surprised I'm not seeing the tower energy because it's a very much a turbulent change that's coming in, but it will be positive change with the boat message here. So let's see what's next to the boat. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Well, you've got the strength card here. So you might have to, you might be up against um, some, um, like it says, opposition because of what the boat energy is bringing into you. It could be property that somebody else might feel that they deserve the property. It could be something of that nature. All the more reason, have the seal and crystal with you so you can keep yourself grounded and centered and balanced. Let's clarify. Oh, you're getting your wish. Okay, no matter what's going on here, but you're going to have to go through it. You've got some more cups here. You had the five of cups here. Now you've got the nine of cups. So these two cups here is what the boat card represents. You're standing your ground, uh, showing your strength. You're getting your wish. You're going to have things that are going to go your way. So very good message here, Aquarius. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe in, what you believe is yours, your rights, your beliefs. And then we go into the third week here and we have the Page of Cups. You know, you kind of see where um, everything's kind of calmed down, but then there's a little bit of a hiccup here. This is something quite unexpected, but I feel it's going to be in a good way. Maybe some news you're finding out, an idea that you have. This page is bringing in some kind of message. This could be a young person that's coming into the picture. Maybe with an idea. Just something unexpected. So I always feel this card is expect the unexpected. Again, that's why keep yourself grounded, centered, and balanced with the seal and crystal. Tea leaf message. Oh my goodness. Frying pan trouble accusations. Okay. And it's right next to here. And of course, it's next to that message as well. So do not back down. Show strength, fortitude. Um, something unexpected. You're going to be accused of something that I feel is going to fizzle out. And they gave me the term fizzle out. We see the frying pan. It'll fizzle out. Yeah, this has really got to do with what um, is coming in with the, uh, the boat message here. It could be money coming in. It could be um, property you're inheriting. Um, some kind of, um, like it says, windfall or winning something. So um, quite unexpected um, 
you know, accusations are going to be, could, could be not, it's kind of a warning, just be on guard for that. Um, but you're already amped up here to not back down showing, you know, with the strength card. Um, there's infinite possibilities with the strength card. You're getting your wish here. So all is well. It turns out well. Let's clarify. There's good news coming in with the Page of Wands. So very passionate energy here with the page is bringing in good news. So you've got two pages here. One's kind of showing that there's something unpredictable uh, coming in. Somebody's going to accuse you of something. Uh, you're going to be able to get it all straightened out. I feel like they said it's going to it's gonna um, sizzle out is what they're telling me because there's good news coming in. All right, last week here, you do have the Six of Pentacles. So this is a very balanced energy. Um, you're going to be deciding um, who you're going to give, um, you know, there's money involved with this. You're going to decide who gets money, who does not. And that could be, you know, whatever the trouble is here from whatever the, the boat is, whatever that energy is. You're deciding how you're going to disperse the property, the money, the winnings, whatever it may be. It's a very balanced energy. You've got good news. Let's um, see what the tea leaf message. Oh, moon changes in your life. Certainly. <laughs> Look at the bookend cards here. This is what's coming in. This is what's saying, you know, there's going to be changes in your life. You're not going to see it coming. The moon is very, um, it releases information in its own divine timing, so to speak. So, um, Possibly going into the month of July, maybe everything gets settled. There's going to be changes by the end of the month. But I see a very balanced energy. Things are going to simmer down. Let's clarify. And Six of Pentacles, clarifying the Six of Pentacles. It's the universe's way of saying, I meant what I said in the first place, that things are going to balance out. You're going to decide who's going to get what here. Who's, who's um, entitled to possibly property or any money or anything that might be coming into you, you could possibly be the executor, Aquarius, to uh, um, whatever is uh, the energy, whatever the energy is with the boat message here. Your boat's coming in, either money, inheritance, uh, some property, um, winning something, some kind of windfall. But you're really going to have to stand your ground. Somebody's going to try to, um, what I feel is, say they're entitled to this as well. Maybe not just them, but that, they, that you need to share with them. So you're going to stand your ground. You're going to end up getting your wish. There's some good news coming in. I feel like there's some kind of legal course you're going to be able to take. And this is going to fizzle out. So... All right, Aquarius, that's the energy for the month. Thank you so much for joining me. For personal readings, visit my website, but love and certainly abundance to my Aquarian family.